VJ Sharma is hoping to take the environmentally friendly appeal of the bicycle to a whole new level. To do that, he's combined raw bamboo with conventional bicycle parts. The result is the Bam Bike. It has a very less uh, carbon foot footprint because you are not uh, consuming any energy to make the bamboo. Bamboo grows naturally. All you have to do is just cut it, treat it, and join it with uh, epoxy resin and hemp fiber. The fiber it also is uh, natural. It is not man-made material. Sharma says the bike is more forgiving on the road than traditional bike tubing thanks to the built-in properties of the plant. Steel does not absorb that many shocks, you know, but bamboo has the uh, characteristic of absorbing shocks. So you, on, even on bad roads, you don't require uh, shock absorption uh, using bamboo bike. Sharma says the BAM bike weighs substantially less than traditional bicycles, but that alone isn't enough to win over bike enthusiasts just yet. I feel uh, the, the BAM bike should be added with uh, the front and the rear derailers, uh, gears, a better seat post, and a pedal with the cleats, which makes the bike itself more efficient. The bike's lightweight characteristics and proven frame structure are two elements that the BAM bike has going for it. However, price is still an issue. Each handcrafted BAM bike takes nearly 20 days to make and costs more than three times that of the conventional bicycle. Tim McGuire, The Associated Press.